Good morning and welcome to Monday morning's Join the Dots. Now I'm recording this Sunday morning so the markets haven't opened. I don't know what's happening. No problem. We'll catch up with that during the week. Right, what have we got Monday? I've got two, three macro stories which I really want to get you to understand because I know I've gone on every, almost every week I've told you time and time again. We have colossal problems in US, Europe, China. And Russia obviously has a war, etc. And we have now South America with Venezuela, with America, Colombia. It's and then we have Thailand and Cambodia now starting a war. We have Gaza. It's not good, is it? It's not good. And people might say, well, it's always like that. There's always problem. Yeah, not these, not this scale, not this scale. So let's have a look at some of the stories. Um, the first one is a link which was sent to me, it's from a Dutch site, but if you go, if when you, I, I will link it, and when you go to it, it's called Frontier News, okay, it gives you a table of languages in which you can read it, all right, so just press English, and off you go, or press whichever country you're from, bang, you can then have that language. It is a tremendous piece, and at its core, it talks about the incredible fraud and corruption that has gone on within the Ukraine government, if you call it a government. Um, it's the incredible corruption that's gone on. Now, we know, I know, because I go back to the beginning of the Ukraine war, and I go back to all the news stories I read then, and how Hunter Biden and Joe Biden were intricately linked to massive fraud. Now, imagine all the money that moved from the US to Ukraine, and imagine auditing it in a war you couldn't so how much money has been lost stolen whatever in that system billions now this piece talks about Zelensky particularly and it talks about other members of the Ukrainian government and it talks about how much money is missing and it talks about the fact that the EU cannot cannot allow this information to come out now, I spot a parallel there with other things that are going on where the authorities can't allow the truth to come out because the people would revolt. The people would revolt on, on so many things now, on so many massive issues where huge amounts of money were transferred from one party to another. They can't allow the truth out because if the public ever found out the truth and you can go back to climate change on that, the amount of money that's moved to companies manufacturing things that are inefficient but are green rather than things that are efficient and can be made better and better and better if the technology is allowed to develop. But it's not because it's not green in their eyes. Imagine the fraud that's gone on there in climate change. Imagine the trillions that have moved it's unbelievable. Now, this is another case, and this is the Ukraine war. What it means is there's a massive threat on the war ever ending. Because if the war ends, people look into these things and they find things. So there's almost an incentive for the EU to continue this war. NATO policy seems designed to prevent Trump's attempt at a peace process. Yes, they can't afford peace because of the corruption, the colossal corruption that has gone on within the Ukraine regime during this war. They can't, they, they can't allow peace. Yes, remember who you're dealing with here. You're dealing with governments who didn't want Trump. You're dealing with the British government who sent people over, the Labour Party, the ruling party, sent people over to help to actually campaign for Kamala Harris. Yes, they did. 300, I think it was. The West has abandoned all guardrails. Now let's get on to other things, other macro things. China, China Tony of China Update. I won't link it. You know how to get to China Update. That's all you have to put into YouTube. Okay, 10,000 accounts frozen at a banking institution linked to local government investment vehicles. Hello, 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 hello. 17 trillion. 17 trillion of losses, okay, in the Chinese local government investment vehicle system. 300% debt to GDP in China, if you add those in, 
Not the 135 that America is dying from. No, 300. Okay, so this 17 trillion of local government debt that isn't even on the books is 50% of the whole US debt that everyone says is going to blow the US up. No, I'm talking about it, are they? So that's China. US, Greg Manorino, fantastic piece. I know at least 25 of you have signed up with Greg. US small business meltdown. Real estate cracking. Economy in rapid fall. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, you have to worry about this because think about the consequences. Okay, if Trump is going to lose the midterms and lose control of the Senate, imagine what's going to happen in Ukraine. Because Trump was actually getting somewhere. Whether you like Trump or hate Trump, put it aside. Look at the facts. Trump was getting somewhere. And it's only Britain, France, Germany and the NATO who have crippled the talks. And carry on crippling the talks. And carry on breaking the red lines that have been agreed between the parties in the war. Keep breaking them. So as to keep the war going and going and going. Right. That's all the bad news. But it's news you have to understand because it's news that has consequences. And it's news that says we will need a new financial system. Because this old financial system, if it was ever revealed to the public, there will be revolution everywhere. Remember, revolution is just removal of an elite. That's what it is. Don't, don't look at it as anything worse. It's just the elite being removed. Every revolution in history is just the elite, the controlling faction, who won't let the public do what they want, who want to tell them what everything they want to do, just being removed. What have we got at the moment in the West? We've got elite. What have we got in Europe? Elite. What have we got in China? Elite. What have we got in America? A bit more confusing. They don't want freedom, or a large part of America doesn't want freedom. They don't want Trump, because he, he represents freedom in some shape or form. Not perfect. No one's perfect. But he represents more freedom than the elite. And think of the Ukraine situation again. I'd go back to that, because on the Ukraine corruption, think of Biden. Now, Trump must have this in his back pocket. He must have the cards in his back pocket on what Hunter Biden did with it. Burisma, wasn't it? Hunter Biden and Burisma. He was, he, was, um, he was on their board, and it was a Ukrainian oil company, and billions flowed through there. Billions. Trump will have that in his back pocket if he can get into the details of the finances of Ukraine. Now, last, lastly, let's think of the positive thing. OK, let's come on to silver. I'm going to come back to my friend, the one that I said to you is AI. OK? And he is AI, there's no doubt about it. Um, Link on Samsung solid state silver batteries. Now, I talked about this with you when I first came on this show. If you go back to July, you will see shows talking about silver. And I mentioned the Samsung solid state silver battery. 900 kilometers on one charge, nine minute charge, replacing lithium ion, which now this is the fantastic thing about this piece. It's really brilliant. It goes into the detailed risks and costs and lifespan of the lithium ion batteries that everyone thinks are the answer and they don't need silver. And it goes on to things called, well, techno, such technical detail, it's superb. That's why it's AI I and mean, you can tell it's AI because it's throwing out all the technical detail. But it's throwing it out in a way you can understand it. OK, so if you watch this piece, please watch it. It's called Samsung just dropped a silver bomb. They're already building the plants. They're already building the lines for manufacture of these solid state silver batteries. OK, and I think when I first heard this, I heard it was 35 ounces a to in a total battery. And these batteries are big, aren't they? You know how big the lithium ion are. They're the, they're the base of the car, uh, the base of the body of the car. 35 ounces of silver, I heard. So 20 million cars is 700 million ounces of silver, which is basically a year's production, a year's supply. Think about it. Anyway, I'm going to send you this article. It's got fantastic, fantastic detail. OK, please, please watch it. Please watch it. It's not that long, 20 minutes. And the other one that I've got on silver is JP Morgan just flipped. Now, I'm not going to concentrate on this because I don't actually believe it's all that accurate. I don't believe it's that accurate. 
Um, so I won't link it because I just don't believe it's that accurate. But it's, it's, its basic message is JP Morgan have just flipped from massively short to 750 million long. Well, that's garbage because the 750 million long includes SLV, which is the fund, the silver ETF managed by JP Morgan. It's not their silver. Well, unless you look into the terms and find it is. Who knows? Um, but I, I, you know, so again, you have to, it's not just a matter of finding a story that backs your view. It's a matter of finding a story that seems to be relevant, examining it, pulling it apart and saying, well, that's not right. And this isn't right. Okay. It's a clickbait. It's a JP Morgan flip, 750 million ounces. It's not true. It's not true. They don't own those. They don't own that silver. That's in SLV. So again, you, you know, even if you look for a pit or you think you found a piece that was going to back your story, examine it. Examine it. Because you're not getting the truth, generally. You're not getting the truth. We need to find the truth. That AI piece on the Samsung battery is superb, so I will link it. Okay? So thank you very much. And we'll be back tomorrow. That will be Tuesday. And I will then know how the markets have opened on the Monday when I record it. Thank you very much.